Hi, Milorad here. I'm very excited today to show you my latest purchase from a state sale. And there it is. This is brass lens. And it's made by Ray London. Six and a half times five, number 417. Okay, and uh, let me talk a little bit about this lens. I'm just loving it because when you take this leatherette uh, front cap, then you see the lens here and very unusual aperture. It's a disc a ring that you kind of move and opening and closing the aperture. Okay? And then when you go to the other side, we put this cap that is not original to the lens and I will remove it right now. And then you see this uh, this ring is actually when you mount this lens on those uh, big format cameras. Okay? And this lens is in fantastic condition. I will post the pictures. You can see in the pictures that they are fa fantastic, fantastic condition. And this aperture that I was talking about before it's uh, very unusual and it's and it's so simple but so effective it's it's unbelievable that this is antique lens okay now you can see that i have open this is the open aperture and it's marked by number one okay and now you move the disc into this direction and you are in the little bit smaller aperture number two number three number four and the smallest aperture number five okay on the other side of the lens you have this glass element and it's so simple that you just unscrew it from the body and then you can see is just one single glass element and it's concave and convex just one single element concave on one side convex on the other side and it's so so simple design you just screw it to the this little cylinder and everything is made from the brass all metal brass and probably i don't know what disc is made Oh, looks like this is also brass. It's just painted in the matte, matte black, uh, not to have any reflection. Okay, now this lens is uh, actually marking on the lens is Ray London six and a half times five, and this is number 417. And this is all brass lens. It's probably made at the end of uh, 19th century. And it's it's fantastic condition. I mean, it's just unbelievable that it's so old and in, in really, really, really good, good condition. Okay.
And this is uh, an English lens manufactured by William Ray, who was an astronomy enthusiast. As in many other cases, his dedication to the observation of the stars led him build his own devices, such as telescopes. And after a while, the hobby evolved into something more serious and he ended up as a respectable manufacturer and designer of these instruments. Much of the photographic lens industry came from naturally from the companies operating in the scientific field of microscopes and telescopes. And this was the case also of Voigtlander among the pioneers and even lights famous today for Leica cameras, but initially a manufacturer of microscopes. A uh, Ray company came into photography when it was already a well-known telescope firm. In the 1880s, William Ray became producing photographic lenses and was able to immediately leverage his prestige as an optician in astronomy to this new area. He did not develop any new concepts, but recalculated and produced good lenses with already established design of, this, of his time. He made concave, convex lenses of a single glass that I was talking about earlier. His firm produces lenses for many camera makers. In the 1890s, I took numerous pictures of the lens for you to see how simple, beautiful, designed, and condition of this lens is. Enjoy the pictures. Thank you very much. Milorad out.